Hello and welcome to Warblog. Today we're looking at the Battle of Alphabet, um, which was part of the um, the uh, Eritrean War of Independence and the Ethiopian Civil War um, between the 17th and the 20th of March, 1988. Um, essentially. It's a strange map, it's interesting, but sort of, it's it's strange because it just looks so symmetrical, like an ancient pyramid. Um, and to some extent, yeah, I sort of think, mm, that doesn't look very organic. But at the same time, it pretty much is. I mean, straight lines are, you know, not that surprising. I think if you had a close look at the terrain, you might be able to sort of alter it or vary it in some way. Um, but the thing is, I don't actually know what the dispositions were. All we sort of know is the the, the units were sort of they were around this place here, um, alphabet. So and they were somehow sort of now this is the road towards Ethiopia. This goes towards um, oh, where does it go? goes towards uh, Keren. So Keren is down here. Um, and that's where you get another one, another division. There's two divisions here and there's another division that comes up here. And there's basically just one division here but it's a lot larger. Um, although it's it's probably slightly smaller than the um, the Ethiopian units. But because a, a third of the division is down here, uh, or a third of their forces is down here, it's sort of it, and they don't come on till turn three, I think. I've done. I think I've done it turn three. I was going to do it turn four, but I thought that might be too, um, too, too sort of late. Um, but it, it's interesting because if you can only move one hex through the hills, it's going to be very slow going. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to play much of this. And one thing that makes it even more interesting. I mean, I thought I thought of maybe varying some of this geometry, but it will soon become very organic. But one thing that makes it sort of more interesting is um, what, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, it's sort of the lack, of, not so much the lack of strategy. The strategy has all been put in place. So essentially, the description is that. The um, the European People's Liberation Front basically surround the in this valley. What's it called? Um, I should have put that in there. Um, something Hidi today. Yeah, the Hede Valley. This is the Hede Valley. I should maybe put that in there. Hede Valley. They surround it from three sides. That's about as good as I can get. I was assuming that if this is the road to Ethiopia, then it would sort of be a concave like that. So maybe it would be a little further down here. But I just decided to make it a straight line because that seems like the best defensive way to do it. Um, now, obviously, they've got the units that they've got, but they wouldn't necessarily end there. They might sort of trail off down here. Or this line might go like this. And so I just plonked everything in there. And whether or not they had... There was a lot of trench warfare in this war, um, but whether or not they had trenches at this point, I don't know. But um, essentially, it follows on from another um, what was it EPLF victory? It was well, it wasn't a victory; it was a marginal win where they beat the um, Ethiopians back to this point. But this was a surprise attack. What was happening is the um, the Ethiopians with this is just happens the Cuban units on top under Cuban directorship were basically preparing for a massive assault and they'll stop piling weapons in um, they'll stop piling weapons in an alphabet um, well they should, they should be in alphabet shouldn't they that's why I've put them there they, 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 they'll stop piling weapons in alphabet um, and they weren't expecting this attack and they basically won they routed everything back um, I'm not sure they're going to be able to do that the only thing that gives me a little more confidence in the ability to do it is we've got such hugely concentrated units against small areas now if you look at this it's hard to see but that's fortified that's fortified that's fortified they're just entrenched there or dug in 
So the way to do it will be to go for these weak spots um, and to see what can, see, what, see what can be done. Uh, but the, the thing that sort of makes me more <laughs> most interested, the thing that makes this most interesting for me is the sort of sense that there's a lot, not a lot of scope for the old pen tool. I, I do like using my pen tool. So obviously this unit here is going to somehow attack here. This battle group here is going to attack there. And this battle group here is going to come in here. Now you could sort of say, well, okay, well, we've got to really sort of consider this. And yeah, that, that, that's correct. You, you've got to sort of consider it um, and think, well, how, how we're going to do that. So, uh, I mean, for example, this unit here on its own, the little mountain um, company, is not going to stay there. But do we actually really even bother attacking that? Um, or do we attack it and then hopefully move in there and move through and then try to get through to this hex? Um, I don't know. And one of the big things that limits a lot of this is the movement through hills. So what I'm going to do, without... What I'm going to do, I think I'm going to take this one first and say, okay, well, I think it's clear that the strategy, we need to go through one of these, and that looks like the one to go through. You know, there's not a lot to decide here. What's going to get me interesting about this is the, the, the sort of the, the, the micro uh, manipulation of the actual units. I mean, it's, it's, it's a sort of mega game. I've deliberately stuck it on a small map. Because I wanted to sort of concentrate, the, you know, the, 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 everything. I did think about afterwards, oh, maybe I should have put this onto a bigger map. But you know, I don't. I'm not really a big fan of the big maps. Um, they take a lot longer to do, and you know, a lot of people miss the point. Well, from my point of view, um, it's, it's all about the, you know, I call the money shot. Really, it's just all about this section here. Or that section there. I mean, the fact that you might have sort of gone down this road or that road and gone through some, you know, lots of movement to do something on a massive map, it all comes down to a particular set of hexes. I mean, you can almost just box them off like that. So, how is this going to get through this wall? I mean, that looks like a weak spot. But anyway, so what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test, because I, I don't know, I never remember these things. I want to know what the movement is through this hill. Look at that. I've got half a movement left, which means that I can move my infantry units one move in front, which is sort of what I was hoping. I was, I was hoping that at least it wouldn't be three. I can still attack, basically. So, now, here's the, here's the question. What do I want to attack? For example, I could have moved him there and gone for this hex, because it's a fortified hex. Um... And there's only two units in there, but they're going to be they're going to be tough. I mean, just as a sort of, I mean, I don't, my brain doesn't necessarily work all the time. So, but what I'm going to do, so I don't want to be sort of held to account on this. But there's two lots of three, so that's going to be six. They're in hills, so it's going to be double to twelve. They're in a fort, so it's going to be triple to thirty-six. So that's a lot. I mean, we're going to have to get 36 just to get a 1 to 1 on that. And we could get a 10% on there. Now, what we have... So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and break these three hexes here. I'm going to use my whole, whole force to break through these three hexes. I want to take that one out. I'm going to try and take that one out and hopefully this one. I'm not going to bother with anything else because I've only got five minutes left and I probably won't even be able to get that far. So, essentially, let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, I've got some artillery. Let's see what I can bring to bear on this. Look at all that. Well, that's a start. Death rain down from the heavens. Ha! 
Look at that. That's interesting. I've managed to route one of the units without even getting, engaging in combat. What was he at? He was at six and he was at three. And he went up from six, seven, eight, basically up to nine, which would have given him a, like a 35 roughly percent chance of routing and he routed. So that's good. Let's see whether I can achieve the same thing on this guy. He's only at 3.7. Now that, oh look at that, 3.7, 6.6. Now this is interesting. So how much is it actually worth now? Is, is it over, is it less than half, so it's 1.5. So doubled into hills makes that three. So it's worth about 12. So it's not, it's not a given, but let's see what we can do. Right, can I get this in there? So he's on six. Ah, oh, I can't move more than one. Well, at least we've got some units here that can engage. Well, nothing else is going to be get out, going to be able to get in there. So he's going to be worth nine, eighteen. And what have I got there? Four, ten. Let's reload this. Nine. I might not be able to do that. I might have to force everything onto here just to make sure I get it, because that's going to be a one to one. Here. I mean, even that is nine versus his 12. I'm going to need all of this onto that. What about here? Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Mm. One of the problems is that I won't be able to advance into that hex. So I might be better off splitting this or not. This is tough. Let's see what I can do here. I could do an attrition. An exchange. Two to one. Seven point six. So we had a twenty-six percent chance of routing. Do I try this? I'm going to do an attrition attack against that. I don't want to take any. Ooh, we've got some artillery. Let's see what we can do with that. 0.6. And here I'm going to do an attrition roll, because we're nearly at 15 minutes. I'm not going to be adventurous, because I don't want to be. Nothing. Okay, so that's 20 seconds left. So it's not as simple and as easy as it sounds, but again, the counter-attacks are not going to be that simple against these massive stacks. So very interesting and complex game.
yes. Okay, I'll speak to you later. Cheers, bye.